Hey, what's up guys? It's Toxic here. And um, before I start the video, I just want to clarify the 2010 Roblox layout was the best Roblox layout. Um, um, don't fight me. Um, you can't deny how just perfect everything looked. Sure, back then my computer was garbage and all of that, but whatever. Um, anyway, so recently um, for today's video, um, you see I'm recording this really late. It might not even be out on time, but... Today, we're going to be looking at um, the most useless Roblox feature that's ever existed. Um, I was watching a video, um, of course, by my friend Kaneko Kitten. I, I'm, I promise you guys I'm not going to steal his ideas one day. But it, actually, it's not really stealing because this one, he was talking about the worst or the pointless Roblox updates. I'm going to talk about a feature that I think has been there for probably about as long as Roblox has been out. Um, as far as I remember, or as long as I remember, this thing is, it, this thing has existed. So, I don't think it's a Roblox update as much as it is a feature. And what I'm going to be talking about today, guys, is the voting accuracy. Um, now, I have no way to, um, actually revisit the voting accuracy unless I go to a YouTube video. And I can't really show you guys what it looks like because you can't sign into anything um, on the Wayback Machine, like, you can't log into your account, it won't let you, um, and basically, yeah, so, I, I can't really do that for you guys, and, I mean, honestly, I think, I think if they did let me sign in, uh, somehow, some way, if it would let me sign in, um, it would still probably carry over my ban, because I do have an account that would have functioned back then, but, of course, it's banned now, so, rip, and, um, this was a little bit before I made Isotoxic, so, that's pretty cool. Um, anyway, so, the highest ever voting accuracy. Now, um, I'm actually gonna see if I can find anyone else talking about this. Um, high, uh, Roblox voting accuracy. Um, like, you see, 2010, plus two voting accuracy, plus two voting accuracy. Vote for this for plus two voting accuracy, plus one, plus two voting accuracy. And, um... You see, even in 2014 on the Roblox subreddit, people were asking about this. And, okay, I found one here. Um, here. In 2015, they removed everything, including the highest ever voting accuracy. So, it was there until 2015. I don't remember um, if the voting accuracy ever actually, like... What's the word? Like, look, right here. Um, you voted in contests and all of that, and the page will show the highest one you've ever gotten. And, I'm gonna be honest, I never really understood this, um, feature. Um, yeah, here, right here, right here, right here. I got you guys. Um, now, I don't think they ended in late 2009. Yeah, okay, there we go. We're discontinued in early 2012. Because I was gonna say, um, even on my Isotoxic account, I'm pretty sure if we were able to, like, look back, um, in the Wayback Machine, I'm pretty sure I did vote a few times, so my voting accuracy was, like, 52 or 53 highest. I mean, I could be wrong. Uh, maybe we could look at my Roblox account if I could find the user ID. Um, I forgot it, but I'm sure I could probably find it. It was, like, a 1-6 something, and then it ended in 7. Like, it's been over, or almost a year since I lost that account, but I remember most of the user ID. Because back in the day, you needed to memorize that to really do anything. Um, and nobody knew how to copy and paste using control C and control V back then. So, yeah. Anyway, so, basically, the voting aspect. Let's get back on topic. Um, you could vote on who you think would be the winner of this. Like, you see, I don't, I don't want to talk about entering, but, um, you could see your ranking and your score. If your score is high enough, you will be able to earn a prize. And basically, like, you have to vote for whichever one has the most votes, I'm pretty sure. And I never understood why that existed, how it even functioned. I still don't understand to this day how it functions. Um, here. Um, the voting contest stuff. I, I remember there being one. I think, I don't think it was level up actually. It might have been level up. I know level up was something. Um, and it came with a cool hat. Um, yeah, Wizza. I remember that. That was a cool hat. I love that hat. Oh, yeah, see contest right here, and, um, here. Let's see if we could actually visit one of the contests using this web archive link. Um, I hope I can. They only have this one screenshot of it. Yeah, so you can see, these are the, um, highest rated places here. Um, people basically had to, like, build stuff, and, um, you know, you would be able to join the game, and you could, like, vote on it and all of that, and 
Like you see, the most accurate voters were always put up here. And I'm not even sure how this functioned or any of that. I don't even, I still to this day don't know how you um, want or got even accuracy. But that's whatever. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Do you guys think I'm wrong that this is the most useless thing that's ever existed on Roblox? And by the way, this video might serve as um, proof that I just don't, I don't just hate on Roblox. I also criticize Roblox, despite the fact that, um, you know, um, I, I love old Roblox compared to new Roblox. I don't criticize new Roblox for everything. I actually criticize old Roblox for a lot of things as well. If you guys want to hear me talk about more old Roblox things, let me know. Or if you want to hear me talk about new Roblox things, let me know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome. I'll see you guys next time. And goodbye.